Brian, it's your turn. While searching for a mythical beast in the jungle, my boat was skippered by an orangutan. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, we've had this one before. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes. I'll make it. I'll make it easier. It was a canoe. I right. was paddling a canoe. I wasn't what? imagining one of those big no. cruise no, no, ships. Not a big yeah. ship. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I went as the guest of the Viceroy of Malaysia, and we were there specifically to hunt uh, for the Orang Pendek, upright Sorry, Brian, man. Can I just uh, stop which you? Is, uh, which no. is a kind of yeti. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, we got into the canoe, and there's a canoe there, and this orangutan, they always love me, because I, I look like a gorilla. I got in it, and it rode, yeah, and it yes. rode, and I made noises at it. Uh, I actually get, developed uh, the noise for uh, the King of the Gungans in Star Wars. I played Boss Nass. And when the Jedi wanted me to help them, oh, they sorry, all kneeled sorry, in front of me. I... I stepped in front no. of me. <laughs> <laughs> Say, say, and this, when I did that to the orangutan, you yeah. went. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so let me I... clarify. You're in search of a mythical beast, and you arrive in Malaysia, yeah. and you come across a river, you get into a canoe, the canoe at the oars that's of the right. canoe is already an orangutan. That's right. He starts rowing. Oh, that's you right. give directions to the orangutan uh, using noises later to be employed uh, in no, a major no. sci fi franchise. <laughs> How far did the orangutan take you? Oh, about 10, 15, 20 miles. Oh. Very powerful. Very did upright you feed body. Him? And the, at the end of the journey, when we got <laughs> off the bank, he gave me a wonderful, big, deep throated kiss. Oh, I would like to that? pause the proceedings and, and have a word with my client. And I'll just... <laughs> We'd we'll like to change your plea. And he liked And he liked Insanity. He loved it when I. <laughs> he loved it when I built. <laughs> Let me ask this. The, the orangutan, was he paddling with an oar? Oh, yes, he's right. Or was he yes. paddling with his large hands? Uh, no, he was paddling like an Olympic rower. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> come on! <laughs> <laughs> so, David, what is your team thinking about Brian's story? Kate, do you think it's well, true? I like the detail, but I'm concerned about the distance the orangutan succeeded. Had it been just five metres, I could have believed it, but all that way... I think it would have the upper body strength, yes. but would an orangutan see the point yes. of, <laughs> of throwing strangers 20 miles? Do you know, the only thing I don't buy is that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I once heard a podcast in which someone described a chimpanzee making a gin and tonic. <laughs> oh, oh, right, well, so, sorry, David, you have won me yeah, round. Yeah. <laughs> so you're saying it's true? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's true. true. Yeah, yeah. Brian Blessed, was that the truth or was it a lie? True. <laughs> <laughs> It's Lee. Every year, I mark the anniversary of the death of my goldfish by pouring a shot of brandy into my pond. <laughs> <laughs> did, this, did this tradition predate the death of your goldfish? <laughs> no. No. Did that you was just not the cause of the death. Were there other fish that survived? Uh, yeah, yeah, I've got, a, I've, got, I've got a pond in the garden. Yeah. But that, the, the, the pond has nothing to do with the death of the goldfish. But how, it... how many fish were in the pond? Just one? The, 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 I'm not going to say this again, Bernard. <laughs> was the goldfish <laughs> in the pond when it died? No. <laughs> Sorry, no, that was a goldfish was not a pond goldfish, it was a bowl goldfish, was it? Or a tank goldfish? It was not... No, it was a tree goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> Where did he live? The goldfish lived in a bowl. The goldfish bowl. If the goldfish lived in a bowl... Correct! Why do you commemorate its death Why? by pouring brandy into an alternative goldfish habitat? <laughs> 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 because when the Because when the goldfish died, the bowl went. <laughs> do, do any fish live in the pond? Just... Oh, my God. <laughs> Currently, any fish in the pond, because if you pour brandy into a pond, they're going to die as well. They're going to die as well. So it's a legitimate question. There was ne at no point, <laughs> right? Did the, the original fish die due to brandy being no, poured into the pond? No, but now. <laughs> Right. But the amount of brandy that I pour into the pond yeah. is like the weakest cordial you could ever drink. Fish, Lee. Fish are drinking all the time. Yes. Not brandy. Not alcohol. No. Yes, <laughs> brandy if it's in the bloody water. <laughs> yes, but it's, but it's then not brandy, is it? Brandy is... Well, it's brandy and water. No, it's, not, no, 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 no. it's a weak brandy and water. No, no, no. It's brandy diluted. 
coated is no longer brandy. So you're saying when you put soda in brandy, you'll make yours no longer soda brandy? Soda in brandy? Can't have brandy like that. <laughs> you put soda in brandy, yeah, brandy yeah. Yeah. soda, yes. What kind of 1970s porn world are you living in? <laughs> Just one last question. Why do you commemorate the death of a goldfish? Right. Stop. It doesn't matter the death of a goldfish. Oh, Not many people you, care. No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Absolutely doesn't matter to me, but, but I suspect it doesn't matter to you either. Oh, and it doesn't matter to me, but it matters to the wife. The, the wife loved that goldfish like a, like a husband. And so, <laughs> so she said, do me a favour, my beloved husband, yeah, show your respect for this fish I so loved by she annually loved... pouring yeah. a shot of brandy mm. into the pond of these other fish who I secretly hate and wish to destroy. <laughs> so with that in mind, David, what are you going to say? Burn it. He's a liar. <laughs> Patrick? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. He's a liar. You're saying it's a lie? Yeah. Yes, yes. OK, uh, Lee, is it true what you've just told us? Or is it a lie? It's absolutely a lie. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a child, the only thing that would get me to sleep was my parents reading me the takeaway menu from our local Chinese restaurant, The Flying Chopstick. <laughs> David's team. <laughs> at what age w was this? I'd say it kicked off at seven and probably lasted about a year. Was it read out in any type of accent? No. Well, my Do, dad... Well, would you say any type? Any type there's one, accent, there's one specific yeah. one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's quite, was it? If, you, if they really had a French That's accent, it'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's just quite surreal, isn't it? But I'll no, go but with it. My, d my dad is half Polish, half Lithuanian, so it had a sort of Eastern European tinge. Could you give us a kind of a, a little rendition? So it would be something along the lines of... Um, this will be interesting. Um, <laughs> yeah. be something like... We'll just separate ourselves from <laughs> the, uh, the person doing yeah. the routine. You, you don't, you don't want to be in the clip when it comes on the news, yeah. do you? <laughs> <laughs> So Dad would say, for example, um, black bean with um, chop suey, something like that. <laughs> black bean. Was your dad the fella from Sesame Street? <laughs> yeah, no, one, no. one pork balls. <laughs> <laughs> Two lovely pork balls. <laughs> <laughs> you know, light, light, light cheese, light cheese for the end of, of the menu. Lychee, that's yeah, I know, I know that. They, they, the flying chops, they just serve a single lychee, don't they? Yeah. Lychee. Yeah. Lychee. Yeah. 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 It was the staple. It. It, was the, it was the 70s. Things were a little bit sparse then. It was, it was um, Wilson's, you know, things are hard. I can't remember his speech, but you know the one I mean. Things are terrible. Wilson's things are hard. <laughs> Wilson's yeah. things are hard. Yes. Harold Wilson, <laughs> things are hard. Yeah. <laughs> We've only got yeah. lychees. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> How far into the menu would you drift off? That's a very good question. That's why I asked it. Yeah. <laughs> My eye would be sort of fully open, like that. A little bit like... Um, one, just one eye open. One eye open, right. always looking, always just checking. And then I would say, by the end of the first page, the eye would be down. So you used to so go about to sleep page. half a face at a time? <laughs> Can you remember the first time that this happened? It would have been... Oh, I think it was on a Friday night. Mum and Dad would have been entertaining, mm. and I laughed a lot and then fell asleep. So what do you think, then? David, hey, how is this striking you? Uh, it, the, the detail... The fact that she knew straight away what day it was on a Friday night... I don't remember what, what day it was when you were seven. Oh, I, I can't did. remember last week. I'll get punched in the head for a living, but... <laughs> <laughs> But David, they did it a lot. There was rep there was repetition. They did it a lot. Repetition. Eh? Repetition. So I knew yeah. the menu back to front because they did. It they had to do it so often. Well, that's just Chinese. It would be that way, anyway, wouldn't it? Yeah, <laughs> I, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ramesh, what do you think, David? Uh, I, I think it. I, no, I don't buy it. David, what, actually, you've got two Davids. We'll call you the, the haymaker and the librarian. What? <laughs> What are you thinking, David? Well, I think I don't believe it. Do you realise? I like the system you've got there. We're going to call you the haymaker and the librarian. So, what do you think, David? <laughs> <laughs> I think. I don't think. She's. At the age of seven, yeah. I think a seven year old child will require a coherent story. All right. So, you're saying it's a lie? Well, let's find out, Mel. Truth or lie? The story was, in fact, a lie! <laughs> Damn. Damn. 
I recently had to charm a spider out of my shoe by tooting a flute at it. <laughs> David's team. <laughs> um, so, where, where were you? I was at home. So, was this spider a normal British domestic spider? Yes. H how big was it, Bob? It was... It's black, but it's not... <laughs> and what colour was it? <laughs> <laughs> It's not the ones that have got a little body and big long legs. Mm. Yeah. No, sorry, it wasn't the type with a with a small body and long legs. Yeah, no. What type was it? it was well, you one... can wear the rest out yourself, surely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> big great. body, small legs. Yeah. Was this a gerbil? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a if bird. If it were a gerbil, I'd have used a loot. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. It's actually just a very everyday situation. My wife doesn't like um, spiders, very no. scared of them, and it's kind of my job to get rid of spiders. I don't like them either. I'm not going to use my hands or whatever. No, you wouldn't. Can Hilarious. you mime the, the blow moment? Don't fall for this. Sorry? He <laughs> <laughs> gets me with this every week. <laughs> don't fall for it. I've got just the thing for you if you haven't got a flute. Close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> don't fall for it. Do not fall for it. Did you blow it into the shoe? Yes, I blew down the flute to bring it out into the heel area. Mm -hmm. These were a kind of snakeskin elastic slipper. Yeah. I brought up just under the windowsill, above where the cat litter is. Yeah. I put them there because I wanted to get that height and it didn't so come out. So you, I moved, it. The, yes, you I, moved the slipper with the spider in it? I moved it, facing the cupboard where I keep the plates. <laughs> <laughs> There's got, I can't, I mean, it's got little holes in it. Uh. <laughs> and the spider emerged. <sighs> so the spider emerged, but didn't leave the shoe or slipper? No, didn't leave Did the, the slipper. slipper. Didn't no, leave the slipper? Just... I had a look around <laughs> and went back in. Well, so I you were know. no better off, were you? Uh, no, then... I didn't feel like I was better off, but it, it, at least I'd um, found out that we owned a flute as a family. <laughs> if I was scared of spiders, I wouldn't go anywhere near that slipper. I'd just leave it. I would just let I'm not my... that scared, I'm... I'm... Are you not? Scared I'm not of one to ten? I'm ginger about them. OK. Yeah. Ginger? Is that right? Is that a word? Oh, it is, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not sure it's the correct word in that yeah, situation. It's, it's, it's like you, you pick something up gingerly. gingerly. It's not... It doesn't <laughs> just mean the flavour ginger. <laughs> a ginger nut is not just a biscuit. <laughs> it could be a tentative testicle. <laughs> Do you now know who the flute belongs to? Yes, of course, it was my son's flute. Your son, is he a yeah. flautist? No. We hoped he would be, but he could <laughs> never find the flute. <laughs> but... Well, what are you thinking? Well, what I'm confused by is that if you fear spiders... I do a bit. ..and you believe that there's a spider in this shoe, I think you would be afraid to move the shoe. Not at all. I also think you would have worried about, as you go to take the breath to blow it, you accidentally breathe in. Yeah! Oh, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't have to breathe in to breathe out. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, what, which way are you leaning? It sounds too much like the surreal world of Bob Mortimer to be actually the truth. I think it's a lie. <laughs> it's a lie? You think it's a lie? Yeah. No, nobody in the world owns a flute, really, do they? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's a lie. You think it's a lie? You think it's yeah. a lie? Yeah. Bob, truth or lie? It was a lie. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, possession. Right. <laughs> Pick it up first. Steady. <laughs> <laughs> this is a prototype invention of mine that I'm hoping to release one day. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Rob Brydon's World of Magic! <laughs> Teams? Questions? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, obviously, it's a, it's a TV aerial for the bath, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> On first inspection, you'd think so. It's actually not... Don't tell us. Let us guess what it is. All right, try and guess what it is. Can you demonstrate how you would use it and see if yes. we can guess? Yeah, please do. Can I, can I come out? Uh, what, he's now did, a good you time. Did, you did <laughs> 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 He's cleaning something. Oh. Oh, 
not footprints. Painting, she's cleaning painting, footprints. Painting, you're painting. Oh, oh. oh. Painting a dotted circle. <laughs> it's he's, not he's doing I the haven't one. finished. Hang on, he's painted a circle or has he cleaned the circle? <laughs> He's patting children on the head. Incidentally, I just, I've just remembered something. Mm. This isn't a mime show. Oh. Tell us what you were doing. <laughs> it's, a children, it's a thing for kids. I've got a lot of children, and it's an idea I came up with. And it's just a big kind of painting stick. It's just a silly painting stick. I'm very interested, actually, to know what you think, Deborah. I think it's Five very... grand, that's all I need. That, oh, you just need five grand? Anybody? Anybody? I think probably no, you, you in particular. Oh, me. <laughs> You're quite well known for being rich. <laughs> quite seriously, <laughs> or all jokes Do you know aside. How you get rich? <laughs> Probably not De like Deborah, investing no. in things Deborah, like stop that. talking to the idiot at the end. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Talk to this idiot. Yeah, oh, Seriously. Right. Oh. oh, don't <laughs> buy into that. What do you mean, don't buy into that? Don't buy into that. No, not this. <laughs> buy into this. That's don't buy into that. You're being not rubbish on dragons. No. Don't see this. Don't, don't buy into that. Don't buy into this. Deborah, what do you think? Seriously, what do you think? Serious, seriously, seriously. seriously. What do I think? It wouldn't be wood, like this is a prototype. It would be a gaily coloured plastic, maybe with some kind of laminate cover on it with zigzag. Kids would it love be zigzags. nothing like that? It would be quite a lot like this. <laughs> Can you imagine if you asked for a Nintendo Wii and Dad came home with that? <laughs> There's not much you can do apart from do circles, though, is it? Yes, there's plenty you can do. That's a... <laughs> <laughs> you can do that with a normal spoon. With this invention, you can do this. Yeah? Another... <laughs> oh, you mean another one of those circles you were telling us about? But is it a circle, Lee? Well, it's, it's starting to become a circle, yeah. You think it's a circle? Wait a minute. It looks like it is. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. oh, hello. Do you know what? I'm suddenly... Oh, I'm it's in. I am in. What would you call it? Four sponges on a stick. <laughs> 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 Rob's colourful stick. Hey, hey! <laughs> hey, I'm not falling for this again. Yeah. <laughs> Rob's colourful right, stick. Right, what are you going to say? I've seen a lot of inventions. Yes. That's... That's not even That's an invention. Not... <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> I'm going to be maverick here and suddenly I think it's a good idea. No, I do. It I is a good idea. It is. It's great fun. I'm starting to look forward to actually borrowing that and playing with my kids. <laughs> what are you going to say? I say that I think Rob is mad enough to think that's a good idea, and we should say that's true. You're saying it's true. David Mitchell, what is your team saying? Rubbish. You... Absolute rubbish. Do you think it's a lie? A lie. I, he's he's mad enough to have come up with that. I think. <laughs> my instinct is that it's a lie. Okay. You say it's a lie. You say it's true. Yeah. It's actually a lie. Oh. <laughs> Possession. Ah, there's a box under the desk. Just pop the box on the desk and then there's a card inside it. Before you take out the possession, just read the card, please. This is one of the pairs of leg warmers for birds that I have made. <laughs> I would have brought more, but birds are using them. <laughs> Could you show us these leg warmers? <laughs> I live uh, beside the canal, and the uh, the swans are very unhappy around there. Dickety the swans? The... <laughs> You've tried to put a leg warmer on a swan. <laughs> he hasn't no, tried that's... to. He succeeded. How the hell did you... a swan? <laughs> Feed it over the webbing, and he doesn't get crushed. Got a great big yeah, beak on us. Everyone on knows about this, but if you befriend the swan, yeah. the first thing you know you befriend the swan when the wings go up like that, and then generally the next thing they go like that, as in make make me leg warmers. That's it. <laughs> They for swans? David, they would break your arm if you went near them. And Famously. Oh, no, famous. That's yeah, what no. they do. <laughs> they break your arm and then the queen eats them. Yes. <laughs> How do you get them over the feet? Right, got... if, you put, if you put your hand like that and then yep. try, yep. try and get it over there. It's like O.J. Simpson. Stick yep. it on there. That's yep. a swan. That's a swan yeah, foot. That's a swan. With yeah. the swan, it's all about authority. So watch this. <laughs> No, they're, they're, they're webbed. They're That's webbed. no good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They... That's going to hurt the swan. You've just ripped through no. its webbing. <laughs> you know when you said swan at the beginning? Yeah. Did you mean sparrow? <laughs> <laughs> David, it's time to take a guess. I mean, I don't know which way you're going to go on this. <laughs> Maybe 
a swan could be able to slip that over its foot and maybe a swan would derive tremendous warmth from this incredibly thin and flimsy <laughs> and short piece of material going an inconsiderable distance <laughs> up its really rather long leg. I think it's true. Don't say that! <laughs> Sort of, that's what happens to your mind in this game. You say, and you start thinking, oh, yeah, of course, the, the fact that he said swan and it seems impossible <laughs> is exactly what's so it's plausible about, about it. it. <laughs> if you people don't start taking this a bit more seriously, I'm going to bring my Uncle Ian out here again. <laughs> so what are you going to go for? I think we're going to say like. Like? Um, and it's if, like. I'd just Maybe like to say, Rob. Yes? If it's true. Yes? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> David, truth or lie? I'm afraid my tale of swan leg warmers is a lie. No. Oh, thank you, God. Who would have thought it? Who would have thought it? Yes, it's a lie. David doesn't make leg warmers for birds. I recite my times tables every night before bed. Why? <laughs> um, because I th I've always been rubbish at maths. It just doesn't go in my head. My brain doesn't compute that way. And I can learn loads and loads of lines if I'm acting, but um, I've never <laughs> been able to get my times tables in. And I thought... Before I die, I want to be able to do my times tables. And also, <laughs> when you go to a sale and you go shopping, um, when it says 75% off a dress or 40%, I can't work that out. I know a stick and I feel embarrassed because I'm sitting next to you and you've got a degree. I'm, I'm a famous mathematician. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually, my secret identity is, is percentage man. <laughs> but I thought, I don't want to die and not be able to do my times tables. Could you recite them now, then? Before I go to bed, my husband lies next to me and I say, uh, I do them, and then I say... It's right, nice to see the romance, isn't it? <laughs> What do you start? What's the first one? It's not your two times table, is it? Yeah, it oh is. I've gone as far as about my six, and I get to seven. Don't go in. What's well, seven uh, times five? Um, I'm going to... Oh, God, this is so embarrassing. Right. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. <laughs> <laughs> that is why I'm doing it. That's why I'm learning it. Yeah, them. but you might have dyscalculus, like me, so you're not thick. I have what? Dyscalculus, same as dyslexia, so that's what I've got. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I've got shorterless. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Don't you come round here giving it any of that, sweetheart. You'll be barred from this bloody pub, all right? <laughs> but that is true. You might have that. You're not thick. Oh, yeah. any kids watching, you're not thick if you can't add up. Mm. Mm. Well, you're a bit thick, thick aren't you? Well, I mean, it looks a bit late, isn't it? You're not bright, let's put it like that. <laughs> Do you, have, do you do it every single night without fail? Even if you come in really pissed, you still do it? You're getting on the times table? Yeah, does. yeah, I still try to do it, yeah. Oh, you God, if, if, the, if there's a dress for 80 quid and it says 50% oh, off, <laughs> will you struggle? Right, well, oh, this is right. No, that would be 40, 40 pounds, wouldn't it? Yeah. But I've got to check with you when I say it. I can't just say straight off. What I often find, actually, is in shops, when they take a percentage <laughs> off the original price, yeah. they will also tell you the subsequent <laughs> price. It's actually it's quite a minority of shops make you work it out. <laughs> if you get it wrong, that's what you pay. <laughs> Charge. They go, I hope we don't get one of those discalculus people in. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was 50p. <laughs> so, Lee, what are you going to say? Is she you, telling What you? have you cracked? Which one I've do cracked, you think you've... I've cracked one, two, three, Whoa. four, five, six. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you've learned how to count? <laughs> okay, you've cracked the ones, the twos. And, and, and I cracked seven the other night. Right, give us the seven times table. <laughs> but I can't do it now, I can't remember it. One seven is seven. Oh, this is all foul. This is like my worst nightmare. One seven is seven, two seven to fourteen, three seven to twenty-one, four seven to twenty-eight, five sevens. Now this is where it all foul. Five seven to thirty-five, <laughs> six sevens to forty-two, seven sevens to forty. Right, this is forty-nine. Forty-nine. Eight sevens to fifty-four. 52? Higher. 56. 56. 56. Okay. What was that? 9 7 to 56. 10 uh, 7 to 70. 11 7 to 77. No. 12 7 to 84. 84. 
Right, so. Wait, 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 wait. So. Don't, don't talk. It's not a Jeremy Kyle show. Seven times. I think this could be a cracking new round. <laughs> Lee, is it the truth? I think it's. I think it's a lie. Why do you think it's a lie? Why would anybody do that at night? That's the last thing you need before you go to bed. I think it's true. Patsy thinks Patsy's it's true. Patsy's going to stick on true. We'll go with Patsy, though. All right, then, true. so, Joe, truth or lie? That is. true. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Patsy. Yes, it's true. Uh, Actually, uh, Joe, I've got a mental arithmetic uh, problem for you. If you take one husband and recite multiplication tables at him seven nights a week, how many divorce lawyers will he need? <laughs> it says possession. Now, first of all, read out the card, and then when you've done that, take the object and pop it on the desk. I once bought a chest of drawers for my bedroom online. I realised I'd made a terrible mistake when this arrived. <laughs> is it a dolls house one, is it? Um All the evidence is, is there, Mary. <laughs> no, 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 it's full size. Yeah. She's massive. <laughs> Sarah, on the on those things when you buy online, they do have measurements. Did you not think to look at them? I knew that with things like clothes and shoes. I didn't know. Some charlatans <laughs> <laughs> were making furniture this small. You, so you think they were charlatans? They weren't just sincerely making dolls house furniture. They were trying to <laughs> pass off dolls house furniture as full size furniture online. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's you, what I think they're doing. You weren't surprised by the comparatively inexpensive postage and packing. No. <laughs> <laughs> if out, put through letterbox. <laughs> Honestly, if you saw a picture of this just close... It's massive! <laughs> How much was it, Sarah? Yeah. £35. <laughs> so, did no, you just you think you were get getting, things, like, a full-on bargain? You can get things very yeah. cheap. Yeah, but that's... I mean, that's, that's, that's gone from a relative bargain to <laughs> a lot to pay for that. I was disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Do the drawers actually open and shut? Is it functional? The thing is, Rob, in a way, it's just like a normal set of chest it of really drawers. Is, isn't it? Oh. Like you can put stuff in there, it's just not big enough for my trousers and my <laughs> <laughs> Sarah. So do you normally buy online your furniture? I've I've got this habit at the moment, Mary. I like to buy things when I'm drunk and then it's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you not send it back? Yes, did you can't you because you can on these things you can contact the seller, can't you? And you yeah. can you know, rate them or complain. Can I be truly honest with you? Please what <laughs> honestly, are, you, are you going to be? <laughs> so, again, I love this. And I was too embarrassed to say that I hadn't checked the measurements. Where do you keep it now? I keep it in my kitchen. Why? Well, <laughs> I I like to put money in there. How much? How much pound, money can pound, you get in there? Pound in there. Yeah. <laughs> Two pound in yeah, there. Yeah. I rolled up fiver. Yeah. And then a twenty yeah. if yeah. I've had to get a cab a long way. Oh, <laughs> and it's good. It's good for spares. It's good for if you're tipping someone who's delivered you something. A like pound, a, two or five. Yeah. Depending. What if, it's, what if you want to do three? That would kill me. That. You just oh, add the one to the two. <laughs> What do you think? Mary, what are you thinking? Um, it's a sweet story, Sarah, but Thank I you. cannot believe you buy when you're drunk. So I'm, you? I think it's a lie, Sarah. Rylan? I disagree a little bit with Mary because I am a drunk buyer. I do like it later. Yeah, oh, I love something yeah. like that. But <laughs> not a chest of drawers. So what are you going to say, David, as I captain of your you team? Think it's a lie. I think it's a lie. And what well, we're going to say lie. It's got to be a lie then. Mm. OK, Sarah. Yep. Truth or lie? OK, I'm very relieved to tell you that it is. Train. Oh, no! <laughs> no. Yes. I love it! I love it! Yes, it's true. Sarah did buy a tiny chest of drawers by mistake. <laughs> it's Lee. When I was seven, I had to be a bridesmaid at my auntie's wedding. <laughs> When I was seven, I had to be a bridesmaid at my auntie's wedding as one of the girls who was supposed to do it was ill and the dress was a perfect fit. <laughs> what did the dress look like? Um, I describe the colour as traumatic. 
Why do they have to have a bridesmaid? Why couldn't they just say, if she's not well, let's move on? Uh, I think you're mixing it with admin. <laughs> if someone says to me, put the dress on, I'd put it on. You know that, don't you? <laughs> Do as I'm told. <laughs> so you didn't display any reluctance to put the dress on? I may have said, you know, mother, father, I am a seven-year-old boy, <laughs> despite the fact that I am two years younger-looking and slightly androgynous. But <laughs> please, give me some dignity. How much and my father to... turned around to me, he said, son, when I was your age... He had a pipe. When I was your age, <laughs> my father asked me to put a dress on, and I put it on. And his father before him. <laughs> and his father before him. <laughs> you'll put me dress on and you'll smile. <laughs> was there a page boy as well as bridesmaids at this wedding? I was a mm. page boy once. And if another boy had dressed up as a girl, I would have felt it was mm. fair game to I persecute that, him. Well, true, but luckily the page boy came up to me, little Sharon, and he said... <laughs> yeah. He said, he said, tell me about it, you know, you think you've had a rough day. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm a 24-year-old. <laughs> How much notice did you get? Pardon? How much notice did you get? Quite, quite a few people. So I think, you know, from memory, quite a few people were, oh, oh. No, 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 oh, you no. idiot. How much warning? <laughs> How far in advance? Oh. Oh, oh, everyone thought I was adorable. <laughs> I've got to oh, admit, everyone was I... looking. I was nervous at first, but then I felt like a princess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. How much, how much, how much in advance did they yeah. tell me? Yeah. Um, how much notice? How much notice did they? <laughs> <laughs> That would be embarrassing if this was on television, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, I got, uh, I think I got like, I don't know, five hours or something. She was ill at the last minute. And... I just think you would have absolutely refused. At well, that listen, I said, Dad, I don't want to do it. And he went, Listen, I'm not your dad, I'm your mother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of you constantly calling me dad. <laughs> the other one, that's your dad. <laughs> How long did you have to keep the dress on? At what point in the proceedings? I mean, did you have to wear it right through to the disco and, uh, you know... My dad says you'll keep it on till the, uh, till the music starts. <laughs> da 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 Because, unfortunately, the cabaret act had cancelled because of illness. <laughs> So what are you thinking, David? Does that uh, sound at all plausible to you? What do you think, Evie? I really want it to be true. Well, I'd say true. I actually think it could genuinely be the biggest load of drivel I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be true. I don't think it's true. Mm. Lie? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Lie. Conclusively, it's a lie. Lee, truth or lie? It's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get to the story, didn't I? Yes, it's a lie. Uh, Lee wasn't a bridesmaid at his auntie's wedding. I once stole some toilet paper from George Michael's house. Lee? <laughs> was it new or used? <laughs> was it beside the bed on the floor crumpled up or was it <laughs> from a roll? I'm amazed he has toilet paper in his house because he's normally at the gents in the park. <laughs> Um, yeah, it was in his house. It, it was in, in the toilet, not in the toilet, like, on the roll. Just, what, what were you doing at George's house? Um, it was a party. I think it was his birthday. You were, were, were any of his relatives there? there? Yeah, you think it might Well, I mean, what was the occasion? Well, it was a party. What do you have parties for? Well, I have parties for all sorts of reasons. Well, it was one of those reasons. All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you steal the paper? A, a memento. How much did you steal, Jamelia? What sort of quantities are we talking about here? Uh, not like the... Just like a square. One square? One square? <laughs> and then you did this. That's not a square. <laughs> That's an oblong. <laughs> the toilet paper squares are oblong. You know, they're referred to as squares, but they're not perfect squares at all. <laughs> they're oblong. They're definitely longer than they are wide. <laughs> You're the I'm only the... person in the world that's never that, David. <laughs> Everyone else goes like that, just that, but not you. I say. 
Uh, Excuse me, darling, pass me the ruler. I think this is actually an oblong, not technically a square. <laughs> well, how long ago was it? A few years. Three, four years? Give me some figures. Uh, about three or four oh, years. Oh, right, that's <laughs> Jimmy. Uh, no further questions, Your Honour. <laughs> False. <laughs> I think if you were going to steal something from George Michael's house, you would steal something a bit better than that. Hey, what do you been... want? Uh, to take a flat screen TV? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that, there's, there's taking a memento and then there's just being a thief. <laughs> I think you're, you're, you're edging towards saying it's a lie, I suspect. I think it's, Me and Jimmy it's think it's a lie, lie, but Terry, if you're going to overrule us, then. No, I'm just going to disagree, and that way I'll look great if you're wrong. You won't look great. <laughs> Fair enough. Hey, I'm on the, what about give them your brutal quipping, not me. Oh, I'm sorry. on your team. <laughs> right, Jamelia, yes, yes. you're going to have a bit of brutal quipping. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we'll say that's a lie, Jamelia. OK, so, uh, Jamelia, they're saying it's a lie. Mm -hmm. Are you telling the truth? It is true. <laughs> it's true. Jamelia did once steal some toilet paper from George Michael's house. Um, I bumped into George Michael in the toilet once. We'd never met before, but he was very friendly. <laughs>